Shadow of Judgment. Hello. This is Shadow of Judgment. Which sign are we looking at now? We already did water. I'm not sure. Nope. Wait, that's fire. Yeah, so fire signs, you're up next. Welcome to Shadow of Judgment, everybody. What's Shadow of Judgment? Well, this is where I look at the nooks, the crannies, the subconscious, the things that you don't know about, the things that are happening behind the scenes, maybe even your shadow side. This is where we get to look at what's going on for the week and what might be up with you, because you never fucking know. So, fire signs, this is going to be your video. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So, look at your charts, figure out what you are if you need to. If it resonates with you, good deal. And if not, do not worry about it because it is just a card game. Don't go in on me. I'm just a humble asshole. Right? Right. So, let us see. Aries, you're first because you always are. Arg. Right? So, let's see what we got for you. So far, we got for you. You are ready to walk away from some bullshit. You, but you still want to have an argument. Okay. Might be the one with the air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, there's a wish fulfillment here. You're walking away because you don't feel like you want anything. And this person might just be running in, rushing in to communicate. But this wish fulfillment is also calling in for a lot of unfairness on this person's part. Right? Now, you just want to be in yourself. This could be female Aries, could be Libra, once again. Could be Taurus, Venus, Energy. That feminine to the core, right? There's movement this way going the other direction, though. There is unfairness within this commitment, and someone just isn't happy. Aries. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's like... I feel like this person wants to come in in a rush, communicate, and be like, Let's go together, swiftly! You know, almost like that whole changing one thing out for another kind of energy. They want to reach out to you and talk to you, I think. Now, you left because you didn't feel victorious, and you just want to be yourself again. Whether that's alone or with other people, it doesn't really matter. You just want to look fabulous and better than everybody else, because you're not happy right now. Why are you not happy? Because some wish fulfillment came up where someone was so unfair in the commitment that it made you unhappy. I don't know what it was. They got what they wished for. Um, I feel like they treated you more poorly than another person. I don't know if it's this person or not, but I feel like they just completely kept overlooking you with this commitment thing, expecting, you know, oh, well, this is the right thing to do. Or this could be you doing this. Either or, Aries. Either or. But that's your shadow for this week, so please be careful. Because it seems like people are bringing you down a little bit from what I last read. When I was dealing with you guys. Why would you think that? Okay. No. Alright, let's see. Um, Leo, it's your turn. Okay. You got a relationship on the mind. And something about going forward in the future. Like, not even dealing with the past. So, Leo, you got Queen of Pentacles right here, Capricorn's card, also Taurus or Virgo here. Faithful spouse, good woman, um, do everything, doesn't complain too terribly much when people don't do enough for her. But still, she's just kind of like that person who's just like, ah. Uh. You feel like there's some unfairness somewhere in this relationship. Possibly dealing with a Libra, and you're trying to come out of isolation somewhere. And it's like, this Queen of Pentacles is like, she will not fucking die. Or sh there's something about her that she won't change. Or something isn't ending with her. Huh. What else comes up? Um, there's some unfairness that you feel like happened to you more than anything. Like, you, like, do you feel like you're in a relationship where you put yourself in a shitty situation or did you do something? Oh, okay. Well, maybe. Probably. You know, no, that's the person you're dealing with. I shouldn't make assumptions. This is weird. This is very weird. What the fuck? Okay, Leo, yours is like kind of confusing. 
There's a relationship here. Two people in love, but there's something here that's saying like something isn't right for you guys. Either someone did something naughty or somebody thought something negative or someone has a bad judgment on something that's caused either you or the person you're dealing with to feel like they betrayed themselves or caused their own kind of misery. That's ending and a new cycle is beginning. Um, this Queen of Pentacles, like I said, she won't die or she won't change your ways or there's something going on here, but she's not letting it be known. And I'm not sure what it is. Like, like, she isn't transforming or she isn't becoming, I get, or like, are you dealing with somebody like a mom or like, or is this even the person that you're in a relationship with or you feel like they should be somebody else? Or you're surprised she hasn't given up or like, I don't, I'm not sure what this particularly is because it's like. Hmm. I'm not sure how to actually read that, Leo. I'm actually really stumped right now because I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck? I mean, like, look at this. It's like, okay, let's say that she's the high priestess and she's not really saying anything. Um, she's not trying to change, but she's still a very strong person. She's very much a good ally. But it's like, do you feel like she manipulates you into walking away or doing something? Or are you doing that to her? Because, like, someone's moving to the future to come out of isolation with something bad. And it's like, somebody did something sneaky and they're walking into a trap with her. And it's like, what? Like, what is this, Leo? Like, who are, who are you dealing with right now? Like... Do you feel like you're walking on eggshells with this person because they make you want to leave all the time? You want to start a new cycle to get away from them because it's like you're expecting something different to happen with this person, but it's like... It's not. Like, nothing's changing with her. She's still as solid and as loyal as ever, but it's like she's not telling you something. Or there's something on her mind that's, like, bothering you and it's like you're tiptoeing around it. And she's watching you, like, tiptoeing, you know? Like, you left those swords. Sure. Where's the other five you took with you? You know? None of those things. It's like... I don't know, Leo. This one's odd, though. Like, let me know. Like, hit me up in the comments, because I'm really curious about this, Leo's. I don't understand this. Especially this right here. So, yeah. But that's your Shadow of Judgment. Sagittarius. Okay. Time to do a reading for you. <clears throat> Let's see what the cards have for you, my dear Sagittarius. I gotta, like, check to see if all those videos... I've done so many readings today, it's like... Now, Jerry, you got some injustice and you got some leavens. You got a person and you got some bad karma. Or something bad legally. Or just something that just looks... Mm, shit. You know? Oh. Um, this relationship might have a Libra in it. But somebody is definitely maybe the feminine one of the two. Is uh, kind of like lost her shit and can't tell right from wrong. Um, yeah, this, um, injustice or bad karma is not working out. Like, I feel like someone is kind of like... Okay, there's a relationship over here, but this person's got their back to it because they're too busy, like, making bad shit. Okay? Naughty naughties. Right? Uh, this was given up on... Someone was... This queen of... This Queen of Swords acts like she's cool. And that kind of creeps me out. It's like, you know... Um, yeah, they look normal on the surface, but then when you get them alone, it's like, what the fuck are you doing with that knife kind of thing, you know? Um, trying to look inward for answers. 
keeping an eye out on this crazy right here. She might even make an offer to you. <laughs> like, you might look at this offer like, mm, maybe. But I don't know, man. Like, there's your card calling for patience. And there's that. No, no, don't, don't you. Mm, whoever this person is. Don't do it, okay? Like, there's injustice here. Someone wasn't working on something or wasn't trying to work on something. And then they had to go inward and look and realize, you know, like, maybe I should be more patient and shit. Because it's like, this Queen of Swords is just, she's looking over at his bad karma like, I'm gonna tear this shit a new ass. But it's like, on the outside, she looks like a perfectly, per a perfectly fine person who has a lot to offer, right? But unfortunately, there's a lot of unfairness going on here. Maybe with the Libra, but it's like... There's a relationship somebody gave up on, and now they're just on the lookout, maybe, for this offer, but it's like the way that it's positioned, you know? It's like... It's like this person is expecting more? In contrast, either you or this other person who isn't giving anything. Like, I don't know if this is you... Who's giving, but I feel like, you know, or maybe you're trying to give up on relationships and you're just like, I just want to look for an offer, you know, something that'll make it better. But it's like, you know, you're, it's almost like you're getting a lot, but you don't see it. Like, you don't think, like, almost like you don't think it's fair that these other people or this other person has stuff. Almost, I don't want to say that that's the case, but you know. But that's your shadow judgment, Sagittarius. So that's the end of the reading, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy. Thank you for watching my video. It's going to be a week and a half before like I could take personals again because, you know, I work for a living and my boss likes to work me excessively. But I'm a Capricorn, so I accept my punishment accordingly. At least my paycheck will be good, so I can't complain, right? If you do want a personal reading, you can go ahead and email me in my email. It's in the description box below. I don't charge, but I do take donations and tips. Um, you all have a wonderful day. I will see you later. Bye-bye.